How many of you feel like you're being sticky noted constantly by your team? You're feeling the weight on your shoulders and everywhere because your team is on you asking you to do everything? Well, I'm Dr. Anissa Holmes, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you simple strategies to remove the chaos. So how many of you feel like this? You have your team coming to you and they're saying, Doc, I need you to do this for me. And then, Doc, can you help me with this? And then, Doc, we need a new team member. And all of a sudden, you just feel like you're being sticky noted and there's chaos everywhere. Well, I certainly used to feel this way until I discovered what I'm gonna be sharing with you in this particular video. Now, if you're feeling the overwhelm, if you're feeling the stress, the first thing that I want you to understand, doctors, is that you've got people for that. You've got office managers, you've got team members, and once you elevate them to become leaders, give them ownership, all of a sudden, all of the stress and sticky notes actually start to go away. I'll share a quick story with you. And you might be saying, well, that sounds really good, Anissa. That maybe works for you, but it doesn't work for me. So I don't know how many of you feel like that, but I can tell you oftentimes I used to feel like that until I understood that I actually have people on my team that are there to help support me and take things off of our plate. One of the questions that I ask so often when I'm talking to doctors is, do you have an office manager? Do you have a team leader? Because the fact is that guys, you can't do everything. You can't do dentistry and lead a team and make sure that things are not slipping through the cracks. And if you look at any business that was truly successful, it always had two people. Think Apple computers. Oftentimes we're thinking Steve Jobs, right? But it was really Steve Wozniak who was behind the scenes helping him together as a team to actually make it happen. And so how do we get there is to get to the point where you develop a Tammy. Tammy is that person who is there to take your vision and help make it a reality. They are there to inspire, to lead the team, to make sure that things are not slipping through the cracks. And when challenges happen in your practice, they're there to solve them. I'll give you a quick example of my Tammy. So recently, one of my longtime hygienists sent us an email. She let us know that she was going to be moving away with her family. And as Tammy sent me her formal letter letting us know, I responded to the email and I said, Tammy, oh gosh, we're really going to miss her. She was incredible. We loved her. I'm happy for her, but we're gonna miss her. I simply said to Tammy, Tammy, let me know your next steps for hiring a new hygienist. Now what Tammy did was she understood that that was her role. Her job is to run the business. So what's really interesting is the very next day, Tammy reached out to me. She sent me a message. She said, doc, check your email. I actually have a resume attached. And so what she did was she reached out to Carrie and she said, Carrie, uh, do you have a classmate, someone that you know who you feel would be a great fit for the culture of our practice? You see, we are known for taking care of our teams. We have lots of fun. We're taking trips. We're always doing things for our community. And so what's really interesting typically is as we are looking to hire someone new, people are flocking to be able to work inside of our practice. And so Carrie reached out to a classmate of hers and the very next day, we had a resume. And so what's really interesting is that I didn't make a decision to keep that sticky note, right? I made a decision to say, Tammy, you've got this. Let me know your solution. And she did. And what's really exciting is the very next week, we brought her in and we made a decision to hire her. And so if you're thinking right now, I'd love to have a Tammy, the very first step is to make a decision. Look at your current team, say who on my current team with proper training could actually elevate to help me to grow my business, to take things off of my plate. Guys, stop putting the sticky notes on yourself. Stop telling yourself a story that you can do it all on your own or that you don't need an office manager. You can run the business yourself. The fact is that no successful business owner 
does that. Again, I encourage you to start thinking a little bit differently. Think about how can you get your time back? How can you focus more on what you love to do and what you're really, really good at? And if you're looking for training for your office managers, we'd love to be able to support you with that. And so if you know that you want to start taking the sticky notes off of your shoulder, I encourage you to start thinking a little bit differently. Start looking at team members that you can elevate and get knowledge and training for them to help you grow your business faster, taking things off of your plate, leading your team, making sure that there is accountability. And if you're looking for help, we'd love to be able to support you on that journey. And remember, the quicker you do it, the longer and faster you can enjoy it. And if you love this video, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future episodes. Put your comments in the chat. I'd love to hear your takeaways and I'll see you in the next video.